working with teams. Now this is absolutely vital. Web developers work with many other web developers these days. That's completely normal. So if you're trying to get into web development to avoid working with people, unfortunately, that's just not a reality anymore. That was normal 20 years ago, but not today. So being able to write code that you and your team can access and work on together is absolutely vital. In order to break into web development, you're going to need to know how to work with other people, and they're going to need to know how to work with you as well. Now, we use a program called Git. Git is a version control and collaboration tool that developers use to basically share their code and go back in time in case they made a mistake. Now, we tend to dump our code into a Git-based service like github.com, where other developers can download the code and make updates. GitHub.com and GitLab.com are the two leading Git websites right now, but there's also other ones out there like Bitbucket, but they're not as popular anymore. Now once again, and I cannot stress this enough, but Git is a vital part of web development. Its importance is often undervalued, but I can promise you right now, you'll be using it with every single team that you work with in the future. And just to reiterate, the reason why it's so important is because you could write some code, and then I could write some code, and we could share it, we could merge it together, we could make one code base out of two different pieces of code on two different computers. So how it works is actually pretty simple. You can, let's say, code for like an hour, and you can save your progress in this thing called a commit, and then you can save it on github.com. Now, if tomorrow you realize you made a really bad mistake, and you want to go back to whatever you did today, you could do that with Git. Or if you accidentally deleted all your code on your computer, you would have a permanent backup. Now this is called distributed software. And the nice thing about that is other people can pick up where you left off. So if you're working across different time zones, you can work on a particular feature and a little bit later during the day, someone else can pick up exactly where you left off. 